and hello everyone welcome to crypto prodigy youtube channel the place where you can find out everything you have to know everything you want to know about your favorite coin and about your favorite token and in today's video that's right guys we are going to talk about gain protocol we're going to talk about one very interesting token but if you're a holder or if you're thinking about becoming one please stay till the end because mm, there is something i do not like about this coin and if it can stop at least one person from losing his or her money i'll do my best i'll do my best to do so one more thing before we can start i'm not a financial advisor you should always do your own research but first thing first first a lot of people ask me to do a video about game protocol and that's why i got into some researches first thing i usually do is going on the, on the twitter page and bomb i found something that is so suspicious guys i mean they have less than 4,000 followers for a coin that has been on the market for more than two months. This is simply disgraceful. We have some NFT projects with more followers, some younger NFT projects on Solana that has more followers. And what does that mean? That means that people behind this coin, behind this token, simply did not invest in marketing. I mean, only 4,000 followers is something that will be a red flag at the moment one more thing before we can go to the chart well we have some good indicators too we'll go to them later but there is something else i found that is not not really 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 promising let's simply say promising so if you take a look at their audit report we can see something pretty interesting here no mint or burn function exists through the circulating supply can be decreased by sending tokens to the burn address. What does that mean? That means that you as a holder can sacrifice your coins if you want to somehow uh, affect the price, somehow do your share in increasing the price. Who will do that? Face it guys, nobody will do so. For a coin with 1 trillion max supply, I really think that they should have burning function so that is first a second green flag i'm sorry red flag for you guys i'm sorry so excited at the moment but i do not think that this is worth investing of course maybe i'm wrong we're all people but in my opinion this is not this is not promising i see a rock pool on horizon okay i don't want to blame people maybe i'm totally wrong so we'll see what will happen in the upcoming times but and uh, when i took a look on the reddit I couldn't find a lot about this uh, token, but as you can see, some people are claiming that admin is a scammer and trickster. Some people say it's a rock pool. Well, I, well, I don't know. I don't want to play the blame and then accuse anyone without actual proof. So I wouldn't go that far. I don't know, but some things are kind of suspicious here. They claim that they are totally decentralized. When you take a look at the holders and the wallets, you can see it's particularly true. So yes, they don't have some whales, but there are more people than, there are a lot of people with more than 1.5% of this token of the whole market cap in their wallet, which is not completely decentralized. There are not so many holders and some of them has a lot of these coins into their wallets okay one more thing before we can go to the chart when i took a look at pool coin i can see that many people are selling okay these are not so, some big amounts but maybe people are afraid maybe they know something that you and i did not know but this is another red flag one more thing before we can end i would like to share uh, something about the chart as you can see here they're not in the markets you can see here that there is no confidence at least we don't have any records yes they have their own swap but i don't think that they do a lot about putting them into the market what does that mean that means they that they, they, they do not really care about what's going to happen with this coin another red flag for you guys one more thing i would like to share with you as you can see here yes we had the all-time high uh, we had uh, that big uh, pump after the IDO. We had the all-time high a couple of days ago, but I don't like this. Take a look at one more chart. Actually, seven days chart. I'm so sorry, guys. So if you take a look, we had that dip. 
and we had to recover. What I don't like are these dips and I think that we are going downsize. I think that we will break support line once again and that we're going down. But guys, you should always do your own research. Let me know in the comment what do you think and until next time, invest smart.